Hey YouTube, this is Frank here bringing you another architecture related video. Uh, so I just got back from the studio, just finished the review for my second project. It went pretty well. The critics were pretty positive about the materials I presented. I mainly contribute the success to the architectural model I made. And I will show you guys my models in just a second. And I'll talk about how to construct your architectural models using laser cutter. So that's coming up next. Alright, so these are the models I made using the laser cutter. I made two of them. One is of the scale of 1 to 100 and the other one 1 to 50. My core concept is to use three identical icosahedrons as volumes to populate a bounding box. You can see that the precision of the cuts is quite amazing and it is definitely not feasible to construct models this complex manually. The downside is that the leftover made quite a mess, therefore I highly recommend to do the assembling work at the studio instead of at home. As you saw earlier, my model essentially was constructed by stacking multiple layers to achieve complex interior volumes. To feed the laser cutter the required information, it required me to dissect my 3D model into layers that have the thickness of my material. What I did was to scale my rhinoceros model the size of my physical model and use the contour command to create the section cuts. To separate the different layers, I used the trick, which is to use the shear command to spread and space everything out, then use the project to C plane command to project all of the lines down to the XY plane. My next step is to grab the template provided by your laser cutter service and fit all the pieces into multiple templates. This part is tedious but fairly easy. You first differentiate the hierarchy of your cutting procedures, use different colored layers to tell the laser cutter which part to cut first and which part are to be cut second, etc. And after that you just populate the templates with your pieces. After that, you just let the laser cutter do its thing. Make sure to bring sufficient materials as you may need to go through some trial and error to get the right laser intensity and speed. As you can see, I made sure to label my pieces in the correct order, which made the assembling process significantly easier. The rest of it is just a matter of time consuming labor. The adherence I used was compressed spray glue. It smells pretty bad and is toxic, so I would recommend doing it somewhere that has excellent ventilation. Alright guys, that's all I gotta say today. I hope you find the video informative. My current schedule is to upload two videos per week. One architecture related and the other one pop culture based. Please subscribe for more content and I'll see all of you in the next video.